that by me again? Welcome to Couch on Fire Podcast. Because we're recording. Where everything is wet. Why? I don't know. It's the blood. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Uh, but, real quick, uh, you cannot buy you cannot buy these hats, but these are pretty. The guy the guy that did the hats. Uh, I know some people in the hat world. Long story. He was doing this. He's like, this is so sick. So I gave him a whole bunch of, you know, stickers and stuff. So. Yeah, the hats are pretty awesome. Big dick walking. Thanks again mm-hmm. for the chair, by the way. This thing is clutch. Yeah. Help my well, back getting, so much. You'll be getting the hat soon. I don't want to surprise you because I know you get anxiety when you get surprises that you don't know. I just got this sweet Minecraft Explorer hat, though. Yeah, well, and it's know. like the only slap, the flat brim that I've ever worn that was like successful. Well, I can get you a, f- a flatbread, man. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, that, that's yeah, going to be yeah. take some specific <laughs> shenanigans. Um, uh, before back. we start that this episode, the... before we start this episode, I do want to say a couple things to the fans out there of our show. We love Thank you. you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Everyone. Uh, can I touch your butt? Everyone that, you know, wanted a sticker reached out to, you know, one of us. And he sent free stickers. Cool. If you want some free stickers. Let me know. Let Alex know. Um, we'll hand this some stuff out. We also have some merchandise on sale, so definitely check that out. And um, we have a really cool live event happening next Monday. Have to talk about it. It's going to be cool. It's going to be fun. It's an interview with uh, a friend of ours who happened a little famous in a band. And uh, I say little. But that's sarcastic. He was a fucking rock star. Yeah, he was a lead singer of a band. And wasn't my cup. I, see, I like that music. But it is a little bit different. But we'll talk about it live. We'll, you know, it should be fun. Uh, uh, it is also out. not my cup of tea. Uh, along that path of yours, Rob, but a lot more extreme. <laughs> yeah, you know. Uh, good so, for him, though. <laughs> yeah, Honest good for him. God. You know, he, he's got a family. He's a dad. So we definitely want to bring him on the podcast. Definitely check it out. Monday, the November 5th. I said that honest to God pun was intended. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Anyway, oh, yeah. so I was sitting on the to- I was sitting on the toilet taking a shit, and I was reading through my Facebook feeds, and I follow the news station down here in Myrtle Beach. Okay. And the guy who did the shooting in Pittsburgh at the synagogue. The synagogue. He yeah. God he God. um, got synagogue. God. 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 I'm sorry. G O G. Gug. Yeah. Gug. Oh, synagogue. Synagogue. Okay. <laughs> he, he um he used to live in Myrtle Beach and he was a male stripper. <laughs> so that he was a shipping you... nail, was he? <laughs> no, no, huh. no, no. But but that's just that's that's crazy. Like you people are so normal, well you think they're normal, and then they just do this this horrible act. Oh Jesus and, Christ! Yeah, it, and, and, uh, it's always a, oh I never would have guessed. That's because they've been playing you. Yeah. They're psychopaths, inherently. So, years and years and years ago, I, uh, I was always fascinated with this story because I love I love fast food. I'm a big guy. There was a okay. guy in California. He walked into a McDonald's and he pretty much shot and slaughtered all these people. And this was like in the I think in the eight seven the late seventies early eighties. <laughs> that was the thing. And it's just kind of like, man, this, you know, you think it's happening more now, but it's, it's always happened. There's, there's, it's just horrible. Ah, it's there is domestic more terror. press and optics on the oh, yeah. that have always yeah. occurred. Uh, and honestly, a lot of them are a matter of statistics. Like, the bell curve says that stuff is going to happen just as much as, and literally just as much as saints like we're gonna have extreme evil and extreme good both at the same rate and everybody else is kind of in the middle but they televise Never. more they, they talk they talk and televise more about the evil. oh yeah yeah because uh, we've got a negativity bias wired into us uh yeah. people that were like oh what are those random glowing shapes in the bush let me go eh! and they were dead uh so over time, uh, we've selected for, uh, well, I'm not really gonna fuck with the glowing orbs in the bush. I'm gonna get my family out of here, and here's my spear. Motherfucker. And killed the fucking jaguar, or whatever the fuck. 
And yeah. so, so we're kind of hardwired for that negativity bias. And you see it play out in sales uh, numbers and figures related to news media. It's why we see so much negative news and not all the good news, which is a fucking shame because there's so much good news. I know there is. Like, but holy shit, there's some bad news too. How 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 did you feel about? Well, I mean, I, you know, we kind of talked about it on the last episode um, at the end, but like, how do you feel about like in your lifetime, in our lifetime? All the, the crazy shit's been going domestically. Like, just, we're just gonna talk about domestic. Just all the sure. domestic terrorism. Like, like, just the the our people, the people that have been living here, just doing destructive things. I mean, do you think there's like, how do you? Feel? Uh, I think that's your also, take? um, <laughs> that they're evil. Uh, we sh we should kind of expect it and get over it on grounds of bell curve. Like you're not going to be able to fix everyone. There are going to be people who are just evil. Period. Dot. Uh, there's a lot of people we can fix though, and how we handle each situation should be independent of anything else, rather than. Oh, I'm going to use this as a, a political points to drive this specific agenda, and yeah. like that. Like some things just need to be tragedies in and of themselves, and not grouped into this agenda bullshit. Because well, uh, a lot of things are just tragedies. Well, do you think these tragedies happen because? Like, so there's there's a lot of theories that happen. Tra every time there's a shooting, or every time someone dies, or there's mass anything. Some part of me, I get torn a lot. Obviously, I get angry because it's like, man, why is this happening? Then the other the other part of me is kind of like, well, I mean, with the ability to grab any gun or make any bomb or do anything I want in America, this is an, the inevitable going to happen. And then another part of me is kind of like, um, is this is this just like a political stunt? Is all this just leading up to something else, or are people doing this because they not that they want to get a point out? but they want a movement to happen and they're just trying to prove something so there's this that's all case by case yeah uh the, it, the, terrorism in inherently and by definition uh is for a point it's it's to drive a specific ideological cause forward um that could be religious that could be philosophical that could be uh a governmental would you consider some, bullying uh -huh. Bullying? Would you consider bullying? Something like that? The bullying is a little Same. different. It's it's like social pecking order shenanigans run amok yeah. uh, to a dangerous level. Uh, and that can cause what would otherwise appear to be domestic terrorism, but the cause is literally I, I want the pain to stop and I want to spread it yeah. before my pain stops. I, w I want to infect all of you with the pain that I have, and then I'm not going to feel any pain anymore. Because in, in my eyes, like, school shootings are at least 80% a child or somebody that has either attended that school or know people at that school and has been haunted. Or... There was, like, two days ago there was a shooting in Charlotte. They didn't really talk about it. Because only one kid died. Oh, but... There was a shooting in Charlotte. Um, some kid who got bullied the week before, and teachers knew about it. He literally was like, I can't take this anymore. I'm going to have to do something. And no one did anything to him. He walked in there, shot the kid, killed him, and it was over. Like, hmm. Taliban. I have accomplished what I needed to. I'm done. <laughs> yeah. I accept the so consequences of my actions from here. But that kid will not terrorize anyone ever again. <clears throat> but... But Which say, is scary. It is scary. Yeah, I don't want to put my child in school. <laughs> but it, um, no, I I mean I think, like if you look at the difference, okay, so this guy, this was considered a hate crime. The guy that won in recently, he won Pittsburgh. in Pittsburgh. Yeah, he was yeah. in Pittsburgh. He won in there. I think he killed like twelve people. Um, in a Jewish church. It's Jewish church, right? Yeah, synagogues Jewish. are Jewish. Um. And 
he went in there. Now come to find, he's alive, and he he even admitted that he just he hated the Jewish community. Yeah, and he and he wanted in there, and you know, and so part of you, I know you're uh, people should be angry. It's it's an it's a horrible thing, but then part of you is like at least he admitted why he did. You know, because I, I think the biggest nice neat bow of closure on this one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like closure, I feel like I would rather know why this crazy man did this to my family, my mother, my father, my brother, any than Columbine. These two kids just walked in. Well, no, we tracked on that one. It took us a little while, but we pi- we picked oh, up the yeah. tracks. Uh, but, but like ma- the Las Vegas the first... shooter. Okay, the, yeah, the Las Vegas shooter. Why? We don't have any information on that <laughs> now. I forgot about the Las Vegas shooter. Yeah, everybody then, else like... did too. <laughs> That's why we well, haven't heard anything about it. It's like the big, small, and two conspiracy. Um, no, I mean, Not like... that Las Vegas shooting. I can, you know, as someone, I, I understand life is hard, it sucks, but it's like, it, it really, like, I, you know, it, it goes back to what I said. Yeah, I was, my grandfather used to tell me, stop being a punk and start, you know, don't, you know, just hide, you know, push down your feelings, hide your feelings. And I feel like a lot of parents are like that from their kids. And the, the ones that aren't strong just snap. And this guy, he just went in there. I think it's funny that people are blaming Donald Trump for it, but yeah, that, that okay. So we we can look to cultural phenomena as part of like the reason, and and isolate cult subcultural phenomena and ideological shit, and say, oh well, th- this is what led to that, and we are experiencing a surge in culturally of anti-semitism uh yeah. the actual alt-right exists and they do hate the jews like that that's a thing that does exist and that that's not a point of contention or anything but they're not the same thing as donald trump and and i hate how people will conflate the two uh that drives me nuts uh like trump legitimately did not get a fair shake at all um, yeah. he's ruined that for me <laughs> oh, yeah. I, 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 I've ran it on Facebook a couple times. Like I gave this guy as many benefits of the doubt as I could, and just as soon as he opens his mouth, it's like, damn it! <laughs> yeah. Shut up, man. Just, the less you remember that what's that saying? The less you say, the, the less incriminating you are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it, it's better to keep your mouth closed and appear stupid than to open it and confirm it. Uh, well, like holy that, shit. Okay. So besides that shooting, there was the bombing, and people were blaming him because for that. all these there was all these bombs for people that don't know that live under a rock. There were some somebody was mailing pipe bombs to a whole bunch of improvised pipe people. bombs. Improvised pipe bombs. Is, a whole bunch is that of redundant? That, is that I don't redundant? Know. I don't know. He he built the pipe bombs. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> we're good. Um, he built all these bombs, mailed them through the you know United States Postal Service. And which is funny, by the way. Uh, I, and I think it's hilarious. <laughs> like not the tragedy itself, but like you guys are supposed that, to like, explicitly screen for this exact thing, and that's the only reason you're allowed to touch the mail. The guy on the and you fucked it up. Like, this is a little heavy. Oh, let's go in the Robert De Niro. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> let's keep going. Uh, with like one of them, so, but got called but all... in after the fact. He was like, I don't know. I'm gonna let this go. I don't. I don't. I don't think this will be a problem. He let it go, and he saw the news that day, and he, he called back. He's like, you got to get that now. You got to get that fucking now. That is actually one of these. And it was. He was dead nuts. So I didn't follow up on the story. You probably know a little bit. So he sent all these bombs to people that, ironically, don't support Donald Trump. Um, everyone that, <laughs> like, literally yeah. everyone that got these bombs. Um, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, Maxine yes. Waters got two, Robert De Niro, uh, a bunch of people. Uh, it, it was fucking ridiculous. Um, yeah, and well, he, he got called. They they got him. Um, did he ever like what happened with him? 
did they ever say like why he did it or was he doing it was he a trump supporter or was he just like some guy that did just... you see the pictures of the van no i didn't he is so far gone down the alex jones kool-aid trail that it, <laughs> really? he's been lost to mankind for years <laughs> Dude, his van was every available surface was covered in stickers that were pro-Trump and all this other shit, uh, like, like mega far right. Like, I mean, we go, oh, the alt rights as far right as it gets. <laughs> this guy was I, way past that. I I don't mean to laugh, but it's kind of like the gallows humor. <laughs> I'm gonna pull over this guy. All these people that don't support Trump got a bomb, and this crazy guy has all these stickers let me just pull them over i have a hunch <laughs> like that's just i'm just saying he might have been a fall guy might have been a fall guy <laughs> he could well no, see yeah, here you go so we'll here you find go out, so though, through the investigation so that pans out so trump is obviously trump has okay so the thing he's the a thing bit I, of a catalyst to say the yeah, least <laughs> he has out of all the presidents that i've uh that I've experienced in my lifetime. I do find it funny that he has the most cult of people probably using this out of, out of But it's clear what you mean. He has a cult, cult. of personality surrounding him. It's kind of, it's weird because American Horror Story, which is a television show where you can probably see it, um, they actually made a whole season about Donald Trump winning and well, they didn't use his name, but a guy like Donald Winning and how people cult like got together and how they kind of worship it. And it's it's funny because like Obama, you really didn't see a cult. Bill Clinton, George Bush, George Bush Senior. I mean, you can go down you, the line. I saw like a small anti-Obama <coughs> cult kind of pop up that no matter what That's, he did, even if it was like pro their agenda, he was still wrong. I think that's just it was a little though. racism was that racism more or less was our first play or do you think i, that I think that's part of it i i think the exaggerated version of the phenomena uh as portrayed by uh more liberal media sources uh that was portrayed exclusively as racism but there were a lot of people who were just like no he, this is a bad policy here's why that got gl glommed in with those like hang the uh, and expletives like slurs and expletives like those racist people uh, uh cast a bad light on everyone who had valid contentions because of well, see, inappropriate monolithic well i will say this about barack Obama. even like a comedian said a joke and i, I think it's hilarious and true the rednecks and the racist people were like oh we got a black president oh blah 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 after two years it's like he did all right. Let's see what he could do for another two years. Like, let's just yeah. you know, like let's see, let's, or it's, another four years. Let's just see what he does. Like, it's just like, you know, like he, you might have hated him at first. You might have not liked him because of your religious belief, your anything under the or sun, whatever. But what? He, but the things that he did, I mean, you know, for the most part, yeah. You you started like, okay, well, this kind of affects me. I like this. This is okay. This is not that. And he was well spoken, I, and his heart was in the right place. Yes, and I do think, may I mean Donald Trump's mouth is going to be the end of him, but I do think, in time, the things that he's Donald Trump is doing it sounds radical and and crazy because no one does stuff like this. But maybe it is good. I say it like that because like a question mark. Because maybe I, I'll, like, I'll grant <laughs> him a lot of policies and uh, uh, like. Like okay, we like, sure that that's that's a valid position to hold that is not racist, uh, and I I I try to give him as much of that as possible. There's certain things I simply can't. Uh, uh, I'm I'm not touching today's foo bar. I I'll, I'll <laughs> fuck right off with that whole thing. Um, holy fuck. Uh, what? Do, do you want to touch on I, it a little I, bit? I, I dude, I know you're itching. I can feel it. I don't. Even, I can't even see you because of the way we record. But I know you're itching. You're just ready. You got two. You got two Donald Trump bullets in your pocket. <laughs> you're to shoot these. That's him. a bad you're way to say that. We are live. <laughs> <laughs> FBI, do not come. <laughs> Whoa. 
I didn't say shoot as if shoot in the air like bam, bam, bam. Like, that's just, okay, my analogy just uh, weird flex, but okay. Uh. No, be, be, yeah, if you yeah. Shoot your shot. I, I'm picking up what you're putting down, but yeah. like really bad phraseology, homie. But the, C, the CIA and FBI might not be. Pick- <laughs> they might be Dude. picking something up. They might be picking up something else uh, yeah. on their own. Because, mm-hmm. um, you know, the Nor- New York Times is publishing uh, five short stories that are basically amount to assassination porn. Which mm-hmm. is charming and delightful. Because Can't for some reason we're wishing for the death of another human or something. Uh, that's just, that's what we are thing. in society. Where we are in and, society. and we wonder if that has as much impact as Trump himself. Did, real quick, didn't you say that I think you said something to me um, about, you know, Donald Trump said something a long time ago. He, maybe we need something to unite us yeah. as Americans for him to seem like a good president. Not really for him to seem yeah. president. It's what saved for w. Him, Oh, I know. That whole th- that 9-11 thing, just the, yeah, the way he handled it was great. And that's probably why, you know, so do you think uh, two illegal <laughs> wars yeah he handled that great <laughs> oh man see this is why i stay he, he united the, he, i don't fucking know what i'm talking about no, no, <laughs> like <laughs> those that were actually the last two wars that were approved by congress uh was iraq and afghanistan uh and and iraq was a little shaky but it got cleared um that's not really the question. It's it's every literally everywhere else. We have no business having troops there, yeah. like by law. <laughs> uh, in that that's another aside though. Uh, so you were mostly correct, and he yeah. he did his best to help be a uniting force. Uh, yeah. And I I'm not gonna blame him for anything, uh, uh, good or bad. I think it, he was coincidentally in place and happened to be doing things that didn't put everyone off. Uh, and we just happened to have united underneath him because it was the first attack on American soil since per- Pearl Harbor. Uh, what do you so, think Obama, I mean, not Obama, <laughs> do, you, do you think Trump wants this? Do you think Trump likes, deep down inside, he think he's like, I, you know, obviously he would never condone shooting or ne- never condone outside terrorism he, but do you think part of he, him's like this is what we need that's very machiavellian and i don't uh accuse him of being that intelligent there was there was a time there was a time uh like earlier on in the campaign where i could have accused him of the the 40 chess and that level of intelligence but I, that time has long since passed uh I, I don't think that's a reasonable position to hold uh, is he Machiavellian is a, is a whole other question because he could be that kind of spiteful and evil and he might have read that book uh, it's called The Prince uh, and it was by this French or Italian guy uh, and basically it was a how-to guide of how to keep your monarchy going uh, written back in the Middle Ages uh, and it was it's really dark it's it's exactly what we don't want and it's kind of what we're seeing um it's very like you've got two options your people can love you or they can fear you if they love you they're loyal but that's hard to maintain and they get really finicky really fast if something doesn't go their way if they fear you they won't even speak up you won't have a problem in the world i don't think people fear them but i definitely feel like people don't love them so he's obviously in between. Uh, yeah, there's no love. Uh, I, I'm, I'm having some sincere doubts. The left does fear him, genuinely. Um, and they, they fear the people that uh, identify with his ideological positions, I'll say. Um, like the, the birther movement, uh, that... Which Hillary fucking started. Can I just remind everyone of that? Hillary started that, not Trump. Trump ran it into the fucking ground. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> but uh, Hillary did well, start does. it. She seeded well, that question. Um, <clears throat> so from there, 
Uh, we, we have this asshole, effectively. Uh, I, I think... I think he's trying to use them and, and use them as a pivot point for his presidency uh, and what will become his legacy. Uh, so I, I do think he's grateful for them in that regard, but not grateful for the tragedies um, yeah. themselves. Like, in like, oh, God, people are dead. Well, yeah, I mean, what uh, human? I mean, he is human. I, I know people don't think that. <laughs> but yeah and yeah. <laughs> like, what what kind of human would celebrate that and the answer yeah. is a lot a lot of people would celebrate that um uh, charlottesville you, you heard some really nasty shit after that dude ran over that girl like legitimately there there are some fucking evil people in this world uh and here in america so I, I, what kind of person there's a, there's a lot of them. Uh, I don't think he's one of those people, not intentionally. I think he's. Uh, I think. St I think he's too stupid. Like I don't... his ideas, like he's going to good people to get the information he needs, and he understands that he needs to outsource that intelligence to someone else. So like, good on him for understanding his weaknesses and addressing them correctly. But he's not delivering the message that he's being relayed correctly at all. It, and not anywhere near correctly. Because you can say, like, hey, let's earn, uh, talk about birthright citizenship. It, it can create problems, and we're yeah. seeing some of them. Uh, we should address that and have a meaningful and constructive conversation about it. Well, Instead of doing that, he's going... Well, I'm just going to sign an executive order and trump the Constitution. Why is he so gung-ho about... Immigration? Like, the, I mean, immigration has been a topic for lots of presidents, and I understand yeah. that. But for years, maybe decades. But As long as we've been alive. Yeah, and I just don't understand why he's pushing it so hard. There's so many other things we can worry about right now. And I know he's, he, he is worrying about it, but he, he's focusing on dumb shit. <laughs> political points. It's, it's political it's, points for his voter base. Think so. For the I one hundred percent. Uh, the people that are most adversely affected by uh loose immigration policies are his voter base. So him saying we're gonna stop that from affecting you, adversely or positively or however, th they're all for it. Do you think uh, these people? Do you think there's gonna be? When he runs, because he's going to try to run, and yeah. ob obviously, I mean, who, who wouldn't? Um, but do you think that he's like, so he's he's doing all these things. Uh, I mean, he treats himself as a business. Donald Trump, as the name, is a business, and he's yeah. selling himself. And I understand that. Yeah. He's what you're saying. He's trying to please the people that don't like immigration and stuff. But did you ever stop to think that the only reason why he won certain states? the first time because he wasn't supposed to win certain states like it was like a guarantee that hillary clinton's gonna whoop his ass i think it was like what was it michigan what was it like what state uh, was it michigan pennsylvania ohio uh yeah, these, and there was one or two more that were like the midwest mega. east yeah like he, yeah he was supposed to not win those but he did you think people were like let's just see what he can do but now I think those, they, that's what those people were doing yeah but now he's I don't, I, do you think he'll win? That's the question. Do you think he'll win 2020? Is it 20, 2021? Yeah, 20, 2020 is the next election year. Yeah. Or, or the next pres presidential year. Um, or, I don't think if there's if there's not a strong enough contender that can either dig out some of the things that he's done and or you know prove to everyone, I, I honestly believe he will win again if there's not a strong I, enough contender. I think don't know that the rnc isn't going to field another candidate in opposition to him for republicans uh and i that would be like historical for the record uh to my knowledge that's the first time uh any party would have ever like ran another candidate alongside the sitting president historically speaking the parties have always sided with the their sitting president i 
I can't say that of the Republican Party right now. Uh, I think they will try to field Rubio again uh, and Kasich and, and all the other thousand contenders we saw last time, and I think it's going to be another bloodbath. Uh, I'm really, really, really afraid that Hillary is legitimately going to run 2020 and ruin this and give us another four years of Trump. <laughs> I just, you know, um, I don't know a lot about Hillary Clinton. I know the the most, just like most Americans, I, f I followed the election and I listened to what she had to say and I listened to what opposite people had to say. Um, and it's just kind of like, you know, you know, my grandfather said something. He said that he would vote for Hillary because he loved Bill Clinton that much. So you mean to tell me you would vote for Hillary just because Bill Clinton kind of be an all? And that's what he told me. And I was, I was like, Bill Clinton, have you seen him lately? He's old and he just he's he looks high all the time. To be honest with you, <laughs> he looks well, that's because mind. of the medication the docs are keeping him on. Because neither yeah, of them and, are healthy. Yeah, and so I just, she gave a good fight. Unfortunately, she lost because of stupid shit, and you know, she just uh, it happened. I don't think she should run again. I think if we are gonna have another woman candidate, that's wonderful. All power to it. I just hope it's someone strong. Uh, I would like to see Tulsi Gabbard throw her lot in for president. Who is she? Uh, she's a Democrat senator from Hawaii. She is uh, a vet of two tours uh, in Afghanistan. I, I know she's had two tours. I think they were both in Afghanistan. It might have been one each. Um, and she came back from those engagements. Um, and, she, and she was serving public office at the time, uh, something for the state. Uh, and she resigned in order to complete her orders with her reserve unit. Like so, that, so, that's how so serious was, it was. She was in office, and then she called up for duty, did her job, and then came back to office. Well, no, she had to resign from her office, okay. uh, and she since got elected for other positions. Uh, yeah. Hawaii loves her. Um, she's pro pacifism, which is mm -hmm. nice to see out of a vet, um, because she can still lead in a combat situation but she wants to avoid them i like but, that so hawaii loves her but hawaii's small like, yeah can she sell herself to other she's pro pot like, all right she won there you go <laughs> <laughs> oh, check this out check this out i am so excited about this speaking of pro pot uh and with the midterms coming up um fucking way off topic of terrorism and donald trump and shit um but <laughs> Here in 2018, we have both the Republicans and the Democrats racing to the finish on who's going to pull the trigger on uh, cannabis legalization first. This is going to be the biggest issue of the legislative session following the midterms. Yeah, it's, uh, and it's, it's got w nearly unanimous support. Well, I think there's like at, the, four, at this point, there's four or five states. South Carolina is one of them. It's on the ballot <laughs> for for you know medical marijuana in the state, <coughs> and you know and hopefully legalized period for recreational, but medical marijuana for people like me would be great. Um, but I mean it's 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 the inevitable. It's you know people say they're scared, and I can see it, like we talked about before, change is scary, and I understand that. But I it just yeah. I don't know. Well, at, at this point, everybody knows somebody who smokes. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to confirm nor deny any of my friends, family, or, or anyone, uh, yeah. because that's that's not my place. But. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <Say no>. um. <laughs> it's not my place. But by that same token, l everyone knows someone that smokes and regularly, and they also know that they're goofier and funnier than their drinking friends. Yeah, it's just... The big argument so, for me recently that really kind of spikes me up is you do... He sometimes lately, you've been I've been hearing at least um, more kids dying because dealers are mixing their pot, which is just a plant, with, like, fentanyl, 
other drugs to make it more potent and stronger. If you They're cutting the ganja life, with fentanyl? I know. Dude, it's been all over the news down there. What the and, uh, fuck? And it, well, it's happened in Baltimore. But um my thing is um if Here, you legalize I have this it, coca leaf. Let's yeah. turn it into something worse than heroin. <laughs> but like the argument is if you had a legitimately business that is educated and make sure it has like I mean you if if you ever seen a medical marijuana tube it literally has where it was grown it's like lush you ever been to lush it tells you who made it who touched it where it was made I mean where it was where it was grown and it literally says like time dates everything it traces it back to the source 100% or you can, and it's sealed you can go, that way yes or you can go down to the you know the random guy down the street and just pray to god that he didn't get a bad batch uh, yeah <laughs> yeah they can fucking od you on fucking fentanyl or car fentanyl what the fuck yeah there was a big old, i dude when those riots happened in baltimore <clears throat> you know the people were destroying cbs and other drugstores to get the fentanyl and they and they literally there's a show on talks about it literally it's from aberdeen to all the way to Baltimore about how this this drug dealer buys his stuff in Aberdeen, takes it back to Baltimore, and cuts it with fentanyl and something hard, and they call it like and people on the street know they they want it. Because, oh my friend Bud, my friend Tom over here, he OD'd on it, so I gotta have this. It must be good. Like, <laughs> it, oh man, I, I've never understood. <laughs> the, uh, okay. We, we, That's we've literally just covered. I know we just went over that. Yeah, terrorism. Jesus. Terrorism. Well, it's a terrorist thing that. You uh, know, let's are... go from terrorism to cultural norms. Twenty eighteen. There you go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Episode title. All right. <laughs> Oh, I, I think that's a wrap. Uh, I am cool. emotionally exhausted. This has been a journey. <laughs> it has been. You know, it's just. It's it's so hard for us Americans to not talk about Donald Trump as much as people from out of our country. Not it it literally is like a huge topic. Everywhere you go in this world, they're talking about. Donald Trump. He, it's just, he's it's directly it, causing the downfall of the American hegemony yeah. over the world. Yeah, yeah. Like I never hear shit about the guy, the the ambassador of Canada, until he legalized weed. <laughs> it's literally like the prime minister talking even, about Justin Trudeau. Yeah, I didn't even know who he was until recently, and I'm like, oh, dude, that's what he looks like. He lo he's yeah. pretty young. <laughs> he's a pretty good. Yeah, guy. no, he was one of the old <laughs> prime minister's sons, uh, and he actually got away with some shenanigans because of that. Uh, yeah. Notably, a sexual assault that occurred in the early '90s. Well, uh, okay. but, but but, but, but he apologized. <laughs> yeah, and, and like he apologized to the person for it at the time, and the scandal kind of went away. It bubbled back up recently, and then went away again. Um, I, I, those details are not mine. I didn't follow it that closely, but I, I knew that it occurred. Uh, yeah. he, Justin Trudeau is not as smart as his dad, but he is a damn good leader, uh, in exactly the same way Obama is, was, mm -hmm. is, is, was, both, is and was. Who knows? Maybe. It's fucking 2018. Every, everything's on, on the table. Fuck it. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, God. All right. Um, I'm going to go get ice cream.